On today's episode of Star Wars Battle Breakdown, we examine how Thrawn not only protected the galaxy from a Yuuzhan Vong invasion, but also defeated his rivals, the Vagari. Hey guys, this is Eckhart Slatter. Hello and welcome to today's episode of Battle Breakdown. We're tackling another event from one of my favorite Star Wars Legends novels, The Outbound Flight. As I stated yesterday, I've partnered with Audible to offer you guys a free month and free audiobook on their service. Almost every Star Wars Legends book is there with full music and sound effects. I highly recommend The Outbound Flight, but if you think you'd like something else, feel free to message me on Twitter and Discord and I can give you a recommendation. If you're interested, go to audibletrial.com slash Eckhartslatter. So, how exactly did Thrawn save the galaxy from the Yuuzhan Vong? As I mentioned yesterday, the Outbound Flight was a Republic project meant to leave the Star Wars galaxy and find life and locations elsewhere. However, in the planned trajectory of the Outbound Flight was waiting an advanced Yuuzhan Vong scout fleet. Chancellor Palpatine was very worried that the Outbound Flight would both provoke the Yuuzhan Vong into their full invasion and would allow them to dissect and understand Republic technology. After the battle discussed in yesterday's video, Sidious's aide, Kinman Doriana, put Thrawn and the Sith Lord into contact. Thrawn, understanding the risk posed to the galaxy by the Far Outsiders, as they were called at that point, agreed to try and stop the outbound flight. However, another thing that happened was that Palpatine explained that the project was being crewed by Jedi, and he gave Thrawn a basic rundown of how the Force worked. But we'll come back to our Chiss friend in just a minute. George Cardass, who had been spending time with the Chiss, teaching them about the Republic but also being somewhat of a prisoner, pretends to defect and join the Vagari. The Vagari were an absolutely brutal slaver race from the unknown regions who were often enemies of the Chiss and especially hated by Thrawn. Cardass presents the Vagari with battle droids, which he claims he stole from the Chiss. He tells the leader that this is only a small portion of their droids technology, which predictably results in the Vagari collecting a fleet and heading off to the Chiss world of Krustai. Back to the Chiss now, Thrawn has been waiting in basically the middle of nowhere with his stolen interdiction technology. Out of seemingly thin air, the outbound flight is pulled from hyperspace and confronted by the Chiss fleet. However, Thrawn is not openly hostile and attempts to negotiate with the outbound flight, even meeting Jedi Joris Sabayoth in person. He is, however, unable to convince the ship to return to Republic space. As a note, the outbound flight was made up of six dreadnoughts built around a central ring. It was crewed by Jedi, who, when in battle, used a form of meditation to fight hyper-efficiently, thus the ship was quite a dangerous target. Again, seemingly out of nowhere, the Vagari now, on their way to the Chiss base, are pulled into real space. The middle of nowhere spot chosen by Thrawn was actually the intersection point of the Vagari and outbound flight hyperspace vectors. The Vagari fleet was huge, it was made up of hundreds of ships and used a despicable shielding technology. The outside of their vessels were covered with bubbles in which sat a prisoner. So basically, if you wanted to take their ships down, you had to first shoot a hostage. This greatly angers the Jedi, particularly Joris Sabayoth, and the outbound flight moves to intercept. The many Jedi use a remarkable mind meld technique, reaching out to the tens of thousands of alien minds within the Vagari fleet and causing a mass, paralyzing confusion. This is when Thrawn strikes. Using droid starfighters that he'd hidden nearby, he makes a run at the Vagari fleet, at the same time activating George Cardass's gift, the droidicas from earlier, all which begin systematically killing the Vagari. Very quickly, dozens if not hundreds of ships are destroyed. However, because their pilots are mostly disabled, the starfighters are able to avoid killing the hostages. However, this plan was twofold. The Jedi had mind melded not only with each other, but also with the Vagari. The indescribable amount of agony, pain, and death is so much that the Jedi too are overwhelmed. Thrawn's very small task force is able to move into the outbound flight, which is not able to respond. From extremely close range, he knocks out the vessel's cruisers and orders them to surrender. Thrawn calls Sabayoth on Hall 
Apollo tells him that the battle is over, but the Jedi responds by further falling to the dark side as he had throughout the trip and force choking the Chiss. Kinman Doriana, who had been on Thrawn's ship, responds by ordering the droid fighters to call off their attack on the Vagari fleet and instead make runs at the outbound flight, killing almost everyone on board. The remaining elements of the Vagari fleet retreat while most on the outbound flight are killed, something Thrawn actually immensely regretted. However, a small portion of the civilians on the outbound flight did survive and, with the help of Thrawn and his brother, were able to crash the ship on a nearby planet. This was actually a relatively big deal, as the Republic technology would have caused a power imbalance within the Chiss familial hierarchy. So not only does Thrawn stop the outbound flight from running into the Yuuzhan Vong, but he also largely accomplishes his long sought after goal without technically having to resort to a first strike, something prohibited within Chiss military culture. Also impressive is that he's able to take one of the greatest strengths of the Jedi and use it against them. But what do you think? Which battle is more impressive, the one featured in today's video or yesterday's? Let me know all of that and more down in the comment section. As always, this has been Eckhart's Ladder. Thank you so much for watching and may the Force be with you.